When you're in a public place in the middle of a pandemic, approaching a door typically means getting your elbow ready to open it. But the city says if you see a yellow plate like this in the transit system, you can safely touch it because it can kill germs. I don't know, I trained myself out of touching things. I do like this thing, so I don't need to press with my fingers. It might take some getting used to, but one person not afraid to lay his hand on the high touch surface, Matt Hodgson at Outbreaker Solutions, having worked for years to get the scientific backing of the product. Regular table salt, the same stuff we're sprinkling on our food. All we're doing is changing the properties by compressing it. So it becomes again this hard, smooth, ceramic-like surface. Proven within two minutes, the surface can kill 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. And work is underway at the University of Alberta to see what happens with COVID-19. ETS stressing, this doesn't replace good hand hygiene, but a way to make high-touch areas a bit safer while supporting local innovation. But we want that trust from our ridership and our public that we're doing everything we can. It's no secret transit ridership has gone down drastically with the pandemic. It's an issue seen around the globe as more people work from home or find other means to get around over fears of the virus. ETS hoping innovation will bring riders back. Later this month, also adding antimicrobial seats to LRT trains. And we'll be keeping an eye on what happens in the lab with COVID-19 on these surfaces. So although we don't have the final results on that, there's good evidence to suggest that, of course, salt should inactivate uh, this because it does that to similar viruses. Now, you're probably wondering how much this is costing in a time when LRT ridership is down. Well, the good news, it's free for Edmonton taxpayers for six months. The city essentially giving a local biotech startup room to prove their concept works before selling it to international markets. From the Bay Enterprise Square Station, Carly Robinson, City News.